Welcome to my garden. It is the beginning of March and after a long wet winter we finally have had some dry weather and there are many jobs in the garden that need to be done. Now is the time to prune the hydrangeas. I think they still look very decorative, but the buds already start to form and I want to prune them before they start sprouting. Now this is a variety called Annabelle and it forms these flowers on the New Year's growth. So I can cut them back right down till the ground. Now last year I made cuttings out of these stems, so let's see how they did. Making hydrangea cuttings is easy. Cut below and above a leaf node. Push the cutting into the soil and keep the soil moist. Roots will form and next year you will have a new plant for free. These are the ones that I made last year. Let's see if they formed roots. This is a nice young plant ready to be potted on or planted into the garden. Look what I brought home with me. Aren't they just magnificent? In my previous video I've shared my visit to Helleborn Nursery with you and today I will show you the plants that I bought. These gorgeous Helleborn flowers always bring me so much joy, especially because they flower when there are almost no other flowers to be seen in the garden. 
They give that instant spring feeling during the late winter months. I absolutely adore Hellebois and I couldn't resist bringing a few new ones home with me. I have four different varieties and I'll start with this one. This one is called Larissa and it has these beautiful double pale pink flowers with tiny dots at the center. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And then over here I have a pale uh, lemon yellow colored one. It's a single flower and I think this is absolutely stunning. Um, and it's quite rare to have yellow flowers uh, in Hellebore species. And I have another yellow variety here. Um, this one is a double uh, ruffled variety. Um, this one is called Santia, absolutely stunning. And I forgot to mention that one, this one is called uh, Lucretia. And then over here I have this beautiful, large, single white flower um, with these tiny pink spots at the center and that one is called Spotted Beauty. Now I think these yellow ones will look absolutely stunning here together with my uh, pale daffodils. They are called Ice King and in the front I have the tulips and they're in a creamy white color. So yeah, I think those will look really good. Um, so I might um, take out the pansies and I will put the pansies at the back of the garden and then I put these lovely ones uh, in the terracotta pot. And for all the other ones, I'll have to find a new place in the garden. And yeah, finally these ones will go in the garden as well, but I think I like to enjoy them for a little while here at the terrace. As I said in my previous video, my hellebores aren't looking as good as they used to. It started out with these tiny black dots at the back of the flower petals and they have grown into these large, big black blobs and it's looking rather ugly. So um, I believe it's a fungal disease and probably because we've had a very wet autumn and very wet winter. Um, so I'm going to leave these for now. Uh, but as soon as they're finished flowering, I'm going to remove all of the growth, remove part of the topsoil and replace it with some fresh compost. And then hopefully um, they will do much better next year. I have a few displays of terracotta pots in the garden that I like to keep in flower throughout the year. That is why I use plastic containers, so that I can easily swap the plants when they have finished flowering. It 
seems like the slugs have been enjoying my violas. And here's the culprit. I think it looks really pretty and I can't wait for my spring bulbs to start flowering. On my side table it's already looking like spring with many bulbs, violas and primroses in flower. It is such a joy to see them from my kitchen window. There isn't much growing in my vegetable garden at the moment, um, but here in the polytunnel I have some corn salad that is ready to be picked and the rocket is growing really fast. I think it's going to be a little bit too warm uh, for them in the polytunnel right now. Um, and over here um, I have some peas that I've sowed in, uh, in a tray and uh, yeah, we'll leave them for maybe one or two weeks and I think then they will be ready to be planted outside. Um, so now I'm just going to pick some of these rocket leaves um, for my sandwich. I absolutely adore rockets. It has this nice peppery flavor. Mm, yeah, it's really good. So let's bring this to the kitchen. Now it's time for a break and to enjoy the garden with a cup of tea. In next week's video, spring has finally arrived and the garden is bursting with flowering spring bulbs. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you ever so much for watching and please subscribe to this channel for more videos. See you next time. Couldn't resist bringing a few new ones home with me. Bah. Beautiful lime yellow green single flower car. I absolutely there is a garden. And then I will place the pansies at the back of the garden in here another yellow blah 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 blah. There's a plane.
um, and in the front I have a tulip, a creamy white one. Um, I have no idea what it's called. Uh, combined with my pale daffodils. Um, and then hopefully they'll do a bit better next year. <laughs> to leave these for now. Um, yeah. Um, I believe it's a fungal disease and that's probably because we've had a very wet spring... Um, 